Hello and welcome once again to Andy's Smart Life. So a couple of weeks ago, I reviewed the OneSonic in-ear earphones. So OneSonic are an Irish company doing in-ear and over-ear uh, headphones and earphones. And I was quite impressed with their in-ear option. They were small, compact, and really fully featured. And with that in mind, a couple of people reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to do a review of their over-ear ones. So I chatted to OneSonic and they sent me a pair to try. And I'm gonna take a look at these today. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna announce the winners of of my little smart home giveaway at the end of this video. So stick around and see if you were one of the winners of the competition. And with that in mind, let's get started. So these are the OneSonic BBHD1 overhead earphones. I've been trying these out for the last couple of weeks. Full disclosure, OneSonic did send these to me after I uh, chatted them about my review of their in-ear earbuds, um, but that doesn't color my opinion of this. I'm gonna give you my frank and honest opinion of the headphones um, and what there is to love and what there is to not like or what they, they, they really could have um, done better or could do better for the next time. So with that in mind, let's quickly unbox them to see what you get and then I'll talk about some of the pros and cons. So let's take a look inside the OneSonic BBHD1 wireless noise cancelling headphones so again a fair bit of control uh, with the different buttons on the side power on power off active noise cancelling has its own button on the left side increase volume decrease volume next track previous track um, unlike their earbuds or their in-ear earphones there's no option for the voice assistant with this one but that's not a big deal um, it's not something I use hugely but it would have been a nice to have so let's take a look in this nice little pouch. Okay, so that's pretty slick. I like this little pouch. I like the way they fold. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty good so far. And it is a nice little folding. Bit, bit of a fiddly fold, but it does fit snugly in there. Instructions, obviously that I will probably ignore. Yeah, all fairly straightforward. Hold down the power button to turn it on and keep holding then to pair it. Uh, it flashes red and blue when it's connecting. And then it gives you a list of those controls that we saw on the back and then just safety and charging and whatever else. Um, the battery life on this is about 13 hours with active noise cancelling turned on um, and they say 20 hours with active noise cancelling uh, uh, cancellation turned off. Um, but the other cool thing is they do give you, and this is something I like when headphones do this, is they give you not only the charging cable, which I'll talk about in a second, um, but they also give you the uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jack so you can use these wired as well um, you don't have to use them wireless which is great because that obviously saves power um, and gives you really really good clear sound and actually this is what I do when I am video editing I have a pair of headphones that are wired connect so there's no latency um, there's no lag and I get to hear exactly what's happening as it's happening so that's great that it has that and we can see the the jack there in the bottom on the right hand side now for the power cable so this is my gripe my my one complaint um it's on the left hand side and it's a little rubber tab that you pull up um but it's micro usb so i would have really liked usb c which they do have on the uh, in-ear earphones but so that's a little bit disappointing um, it means because everything else I have now more or less is micro U or USB-C, I'm gonna have to keep a micro USB charger handy for this. And now it's power on and you can probably hear the little voice saying power on. And if I keep holding, it'll go into pairing mode if I hold it again. Power off. And now it's connecting, okay. And there's the little button for the active noise cancellation. So hold that on and it turns green for it on and then off. And you can see the little speakers at the side where it's pulling in the outside sound for the active noise cancellation. Um, build quality is okay, um, it's not super, but they are super light, which I do like. Um, oftentimes when I get really good quality headphones, um, I'm always surprised by how, by how heavy they are, but these are nice and light. Um, and actually the, the cans themselves are decent quality. Um, it's a bit fiddly to fold them and unfold them, but that's something I'll probably get used to. And we'll just turn it off again. Okay, 
So yeah, overall they're, they're nice. They're nice and light, which is great. And they fit snugly in there. And they've got this little section at the top where I can throw my cables and the instructions and whatever else, which is kind of handy. Um, and that's a nice little carry case as well, just as an added bonus to carry it around. So yeah, happy enough. So as I mentioned there, the headphones themselves are really, really light, which is really, really nice. Um, sometimes, as I said, when I buy overhead earphones, I find them that little bit heavy. Um, these ones are really, really light. The catch though that I have found is that the fit on these for my head is a little bit loose. Even when they're at the tightest possible, I find that when I put them on my head, there is this little bit of give when I shake and when I move. Um, and maybe it's just that I've got a small head, but people have always told me that I have a big head. Um, but this is not hugely comfortable for me and I feel like I'm aware of them, particularly when I'm outside walking. I have found though that when I'm using them watching TV or sitting stationary, um, they're fairly comfortable and I don't really notice them after a little while. But anytime I do move, I feel that movement a little bit. Funnily enough though, I gave them to my partner to try and they fit her head perfectly and she really likes these and she really likes the weight. So it's, it's gonna be a case of we're gonna do a bit of a presto changeo with some of our different headphones um, and she'll probably take these as her daily use. The sound quality is great, just like on their in-ear earbuds. I cannot fault them for the crystal clear sound, particularly on voices, when I'm doing voice calls, when I'm on video calls. Um, the sound quality is absolutely crystal clear and really, really good. The bass on these is much, much better than on their in-ear earbuds as well. It's a nice, rich sound without being overpowering. It doesn't feel like somebody's banging a drum in the side of my ear. And also without making the rest of the sounds feel dulled or kind of muted or kind of drowned out. So I'm really, really impressed with that. Having said that the active noise cancellation is not as good as I would have liked. Um, when I turn the active noise cancellation on, I can still hear my partner on the phone at the other side of the room, albeit that little bit more dulled. Um, it really just feels to my ear that when the active noise cancellation is on, they've just kind of upped the bass a little bit and, and made the sound a little bit clearer. It doesn't really feel that they have cancelling out all of the background noise. And this is particularly evident when I took them outside. So when I was listening to my audio book, um, walking to my office, um, I was very conscious of the wind in the background, the wind that was blowing around me. It was much, much less with the active noise cancellation turned on than it was with it off. Um, but I would have hoped that this would have completely taken this away. Um, and maybe it's a combination of the fact that this fit just over my ears and over my head just isn't snug enough. Um, or maybe it's just that the active noise cancellation just can't deal um, with a lot of noise. Um, I'm not sure, but that's a little bit disappointing. Having said that, the use case that I have for them is when I'm watching TV, um, if I'm watching a movie that has lots of action sequences or whatever else, lots of explosions, the sound is great. Um, and I really enjoy it because I don't feel like I have to compromise between listening to the dialogue and getting the nice explosions and you know bullet shots and whatever else. Um, so this is a nice happy medium in terms of sound to my ear. Again, I'm not an expert when it comes to sound, um, but I do like, I do like movies. Um, so this is really, really good. The other thing I have used these for is I've used them for video editing. And again, because the sound is so crystal clear, I can hear absolutely everything. Um, I do use the line in cable um, when I'm using it for video editing or when I have it connected to my PC to make sure that there's absolutely no um, lag or there's no uh, latency. Um, but these have been really, really fantastic. And I think if my girlfriend doesn't steal them, I will probably keep these as my main headphones for video editing, sound editing, and whatever else, um, because I can't fault them on that. Um, One Sonic really have done great, great work in terms of the sound quality. I really like the bass on these, which is much better than on their in-ear earbuds, but that active noise cancellation is just that little bit disappointing. A couple of other little things that I've noticed, and these are niggling little things, but they, they do bug me that little bit. Um, I find the mechanism to fold them a little bit fiddly, um, and it does feel like I might snap these if I'm a little bit rough. One other tiny little thing that I noticed though, when I turn them on, um, the voice that tells me that the power is on and that they're connected or whatever else is eerily similar to the voice on my skull candy. So one Sonic, did you use the same little voiceover lady or the same little recording? Um, because it does sound eerily familiar to my um, skull candy crusher wireless and the voice that comes on to say connected or Bluetooth or power low or whatever else. Um, so that's a little suspicious that it might be the same chipset. Um, it 
it might be the same recording or it might be um, just my complete coincidence that it just sounds very very similar so they are retailing at $74.99 from the one sonic website in truth though if I had the choice between going for these again um, or going for the in-ear earbuds that they do I would probably go for the in-ear ones um, I think overall value for money and the features and functions that you get with the in-ear ones um, they're probably a better bet for most people particularly if you're going to be using them out and about if you're walking if you're listening to stuff out and about but if you want something to stick in your home um, to listen to the TV watch movies books or whatever else um, these are a really good option so I think if the frame itself was a little bit more uh, rigid and maybe it could be tightened that a little bit more I I'd probably like these an awful lot more um, than I do that being said I'm very very impressed with one sonic so far they have kind of said on the QT that they're working on some great new things um, including some newer earbuds that will have active noise cancellation um, so watch this space they haven't given me any kind of time frames on this um, but they will let me know and now folks the thing that you've all really been waiting for is the winners of the little smart home giveaway so a few weeks ago I was giving away a complete little start home smarter kit which included two smart bulbs it included a standalone power uh, socket plug um, a power strip and the Zigbee little gateway I was also giving away a second place prize of a Miros Wi-Fi power strip so first and foremost I want to thank absolutely everybody for entering the competition your uh, participation and the number of people who entered absolutely blew me away so thank you so much um, and I'm hoping to do a lot more of these giveaways now in the future so with that in mind, the first prize winner was Paul Yeoman. Congratulations, thank you very much for entering. Um, if you could reach out to me on the Facebook page, send a message to the Facebook page uh, whenever you see this, and I will try and reach out to you too over the weekend, and I will get those out to you as soon as possible. And the second place was Ross O'Connor, who is going to win the Miros Power Strip. So again, Ross, if you want to reach out to me through the Andy Smart Life Facebook page, I will get that out to you as soon as possible. So congratulations to both of our winners and thank you everyone out there for getting me up to 2,000 subscribers. I'm really, really uh, impressed at how this community is starting to grow. Um, people are reaching out to me, asking me questions, people are commenting. So keep chatting to each other, keep reaching out to me with any questions or comments you have. Um, and as ever, you can reach me on any of the social medias. Um, but all that's left to say for this week is bye-bye for now.